The CZ Shadow 2, arguably one of the most popular shooting platforms on the competition scene. But are they reliable? In this video, I go over my CZ Shadow 2 that has over 10,000 rounds. I actually bought this gun and it had about 1500 rounds on it. I actually put 10,000 rounds, so this gun actually has closer to 12,000 rounds. So this is more about my time with this firearm and kind of the things I've learned and what my experience has been in that time. Now I do want to kind of take you a little bit about around the firearm too, so you understand this is just not 100% a factory model. Now one of the first things you will see is this is actually a non-optic ready model. And how you can tell is if you look really close there, it sits directly right on the slide. Now the reason for that is because this gun was actually made before they came out the optics ready model. Why I chose to go this round versus the optic ready model is because if you see, it sits actually a little bit lower when you actually mill it directly to the slide. And so what that means in the shooting experience is there's just a little bit less exaggeration in the dot. Now, a lot of millers out there end up actually having to actually protrude just a little bit here. And I'll try to see if I can get it here where the screws mount in here, but they protrude out the side a little bit. And a question I do get asked quite a bit is how reliable is the optic? Does it stay on, et cetera. Now, I will say that the trick to this is that, number one, you gotta make sure you have markers on it. And secondly, that you actually torque it to spec. I torqued mine to about 25 pounds and I put a generous amount of blue Loctite on it. And after I've done that, I've never had issues with it, but initially they did actually come loose here and there. And so the original person that did the optic slide and the Cerakote color up here was Vulcan Machine Works here in Plano, Texas. And they even tell you up front when they actually do these cuts is that they will protrude on the side, but it really doesn't affect the usability of the dot. Now, uh, others have asked, hey, seeing as how's it, how it's made, you know, and I've read quite a bit on forums is, are they hard on optics? Well, this particular gun came with this optic. And after the time the prior owner had with it and the 10,000 rounds I put on it, I haven't had a single issue with it. To be fair, this particular one, when I actually put this together, it originally had some issues out of the gate. And what I ended up doing with that is sending that into Trigicon. They warrantied it and they fixed it. And I have not had issues with this particular gun sense or any of the optics. it came Cajunized for a better lack of words. So what that, what that entails is a full trigger group, um, all the springs and hammer, the trigger, everything. Um, and what that ends up equating to, to keep it simple, is that it ends up being about a six pound pull. It's incredibly linear. And then in single action, it has a very light take up, as you see here, and literally about a two pound pull. One of the particular traits I've come to love about CZs is that in single action, they have kind of a rolling wall to it. Now I point that out because what I've learned is that this gun is incredibly forgiving to shoot. A wall, regardless of the brake weight, ends up mentally putting an index of saying, hey, there's something there to stop. So it's a nice firm wall like you would find on a 1911 is a good example. This has more of a rolling wall to it. And once you dry fire and get used to it, you end up being able to find that wall fairly easy. And it's just a simple pullback. And before I dive further on, I actually have the build sheet for this specific gun. The only thing it doesn't talk about is this nitro fin here, which is something I've done fairly recently. But if you wanna see all the parts, I'll leave the link in the description below and you can check it out. All right, so continuing with the gun and just some of the features itself is that I ended up putting these lock palm swell grips on there because number one, I like how it fills out my hands. Secondly, the grip texture. And number three, these are brass. So the total weight of this package with a Henning base pad and a magazine comes out to about 54 ounces. So well within legal spec, but the reason why I went with brass grips specifically is because I felt it was a little muzzle heavy for my preference. 
And so the brass grips ended up balancing that out better for me personally. The one last item I'll touch on aside from the Cajunized parts is I actually ran an Eamon Ultimate Trigger. I actually wanted this just because I liked the profile to be a little bit longer and it was a little flatter while still having that good index point for me having a little bit larger hands to pull back. All right, so I will kind of dive into now the shooting experience of this. So for me to achieve kind of the setup I have, I run an 11 pound recoil spring with an 11 and a half pound main. Now there's debate on that on the internet about if it's reliable or not. What I will tell you is that you will have to replace springs more often. That is kind of the give and take, but I like the way it shoots. I like the actual double action pull. If you run the 13 pound main, you come in about seven to eight pounds. The 11 and a half pound puts this about six pound pull each and every time. And for my preference, I felt that was fine. Now with the setup, I like to run 147. Typically it's Super Bell or Black Dot ammunition. And I will say guys, after 10,000 rounds, this gun has been incredibly reliable. I do know when springs start to wear on this gun, because keep in mind, I do dry fire these guns a lot. And so there are just a ton of double action pulls inherently when you do dry fire. So what is it like to shoot? Well, I can tell you that between this whole setup with the optic, the way I've actually sprung it and the ammo I run, this dot never ever leaves the window on this SRO. This gun is an incredibly soft and flat shooting gun and it's consistent. That's the biggest thing. It is an incredibly forgiving platform. So there's times where I'm shooting this gun in competition on perhaps a tougher target. And I'll think, oh man, that's gonna be, I've either tagged a no shoot or I might did. Well, for whatever reason, this gun and I have a good enough relationship to where those rounds appear exactly where I want them. I would say if I were new, starting out and accuracy was not particularly my thing, um, I would run the Shadow 2. I think just between how this gun is set up, the trigger set up, everything, this whole package makes it an incredibly forgiving gun to shoot, which is why I believe so many people love to run these. Now, for those wondering, what is it specifically made to run for? I exclusively run this gun in USPSA carry optic. Now, could I run this in limited optics? Absolutely. That would just be a matter of just putting on a magwell and simply just running the gun in single action on the start, just run the safety up, that's it. So let's talk maintenance of this gun. It's been incredibly reliable for me to shoot, but maintenance has to be a consideration because I'm running softer springs than the factory allotment. Now, what I end up finding is that the magic number is 5,000 rounds for replacing a recoil spring and a main spring. Had I not be running 11 and a half, I'd probably be closer to 10 with maybe a 13 pound. I've learned about six, 7,000 rounds, especially with a lot of dry fire that the main spring tends to start wearing out. You see that when you start to do double action pulls and sometimes you don't get a bang, which is the biggest surprise because you would think you'd have an extra bit of inertia with the double action pull. I actually don't really clean these guns very much. That's one thing I love about this platform. It just inherently stays clean. All right, so I'm gonna pull this apart here just to kind of show you what this looks like after 10,000 rounds. Okay, so I haven't really cleaned this gun too much. Um, I do probably a deep clean every time I replace all the trigger because yet is the one thing about this platform is that it's not exactly the most fun to tear apart. Um, the one thing too I wanna give a shout out to is my friend Marcelo, he's the CZ Armor. He's the one that actually did the refinement and tuning of this trigger to get it where it's at. Um, and so I'll leave a link to him and you can check out his page because he has a ton of content on CZs and he can also do anything you may ever need to one. I haven't cleaned this thing in about 3000 rounds and you'll see that's just a little caked up around here, but it's not particularly bad in any shape, way or form. Um, as you can see, it's just a little caked up here by the lug here. But um, other than that, everything else is just, you know, dust and a little grime. And a large part of that is because I just don't need to. These guns really just got to keep them oiled. I oil it every time I go out and it's a very simple oiling process and I'll show you that here shortly. So what we're gonna do, just a little bit of oil 
here, a little bit over here, okay, here, okay, a little bit here, a little bit here. So that's it guys, that's all I have for you. It's been an incredibly reliable gun. Uh, the maintenance is fairly minimal. There's a ton of aftermarket available for it. And so who is this gun for? Well, I tell you what, if I had to start over again, this would be the gun I would use. It's a very user-friendly, easy gun to shoot. It's reliable and it'll pretty much feed any ammo you decide to throw at it. So. It's definitely good for the beginner, and it's also great for the guy that just wants to grow with the platform. I see so many GMs, master class shooters, that probably shoot the same Shadow 2 they started out with. Um, these guns just keep going. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, or you have a Shadow 2 and maybe have some feedback, I'd like to hear you sound off in the comments below. But until then, we will see you at the range.